Hello everybody, I wanted to let you know about one important announcement. This Sunday we are going to be resuming our in-person uh, service inside the building. We've been meeting outside, we'll be resuming inside. So I wanted to let you know a little bit about that transition so that you can make uh, the best decision for your family, whether to join us inside or to join us online. Um, so for our in-person service, it will be similar in many ways to our outdoor service. There's three main things that we are going to maintain to meet the this Washington State guidelines, as well as to do everything we can to, to love our neighbor who might be joining us that Sunday and to love the body of Christ by, by taking a, uh, caution to, to keep people safe and, and to make people feel comfortable here. So we are going to do three main things to maintain the, the state guidelines for COVID-19 safety. First of all, we are going to wear masks at all times. That includes during the singing time. So please maintain your mask whenever, when, when you're mingling, when you're seated, when we're singing, please keep your mask on at all times. Second, we're gonna maintain social distance at all times. Even when we're inside the building, I'll show you in a second how the seating arrangement works. As you can tell, we've distanced the chairs so that they can be six feet apart and so people can sit in their, with their families six feet apart. And we wanna to continue to maintain that social distance when we're in the lobby or when we're talking with people. Um, just to keep people safe and to follow the guidelines the state has laid out for us. And then three, another consideration is that the bathrooms are going to be two people at a time. Next, I want to talk to you about the children's ministry. Uh, so for children's ministry, we're actually going to be resuming children's ministry for, for uh, all ages except for infants. So if you have like um, a toddler, um, we're going to have the toddler room open um, and uh, for those of the kids that are four and over, there will also be a kids ministry program for them downstairs. I'm going to take you downstairs real quick to show you how we will check in all of our kids. One, one option I forgot to mention, the third option, so we have children's ministry uh, uh, for, the, for the toddlers upstairs, for the rest of the kids four and older downstairs. You can also keep your kids with you if you'd prefer and Shauna will give them uh, a box that has stuff to play with and, and to interact with for the day. Let me take you downstairs to show you how check-in will work downstairs. If you are checking a child in online, you can, you're gonna come to this side entrance on the east side of our building so that they can go flow directly into their classroom downstairs or go up the stairs for their class upstairs. One of the reasons why we're doing this is because we're going to check every kid's temperature as the state guidelines have recommended to make sure that they don't have a fever or potential COVID-19 um, symptoms. So if you're a parent and would like to check your kid into our service, you may come join us on this east side the, uh, doorway, come right in and Shauna will, will check your, your kids in and then you may go up to the, the service upstairs. To help maintain social distancing while we're seated in our service, Here's a couple things I want you to keep in mind. First off, we need to maintain about six feet of social distancing at all time. So that would mean that when you're seated, if you would please keep two chairs between you and another household, that will help us maintain our six feet of social distance. Also, as you can tell, we can't fit as many chairs in our building. So right now, because with the social distancing, so to help maximize the space that we have, please sit at, on the edges of the aisles with your family so that we can fit as many people as possible into each row depending on the size of each household. Throughout this process, let's remember that God has called us to be the body of Christ and, and the body of Christ is not divided. And, and by being the body of Christ to one another in this divisive time, we can, we can show the world that, that we really do have the love of Jesus Christ in our hearts. So this is a great opportunity for us to grow through these challenges and to recognize that w whether or not you gather with us in Sunday in person or you gather with us on Sunday online, that we're still the body of Christ and we're still going to love each other and we're still going to serve Jesus. We're, we're, we're not going to let the way the culture sometimes handles division, we're not going to let that infect us because we have, we have been given the love of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit. So I pray that no matter where you're at, this Sunday, if you're with us online or you're with us in person, we're praying for you. We're still being the body of Christ. 
Let's remember that, that Sunday is only one of the ways that we get to live out our faith and that, that, that Sunday is just one way that we, that we learn and grow so that we can empower all of our life with the love of Jesus Christ. I'll see you on Sunday. Online, in person, it's your choice. You do whatever the Holy Spirit puts on your heart. We want to make sure that we're safe as well. So if you're in one of the at-risk populations groups, we do recommend that you join us online. We'll see you around, or we'll talk on the phone, or maybe we'll Zoom. Somehow, we're going to stay connected.